Okay, so I dug down about two feet, um, kind of piled it this way. That is as far as I was able to reach over the edge and get in here. And this just kind of shows you how large this pond is. is you know, probably from here to here about eight feet. So not a lot of depth, but interesting. And I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in on it here real quick. That pin right there is one of the pins that holds the bucket on. Well, it doesn't actually hold the bucket on. It holds the clip that holds the bucket on. It's kind of a safety retaining pin. And I just noticed it in the hole here, uh, which means that in the process of digging, it somehow unclipped that. So I'm gonna have to figure out a best practice because I'm sure people who use these tractors all day commercially aren't losing their pins. So if you guys know specifically what I need to do to prevent that from coming out, let me know. But yeah, I'll take a look at it whenever uh, we get it out of here. And in the process of exploring, look what I found. This is a Ryobi lithium power drill. It's like an artifact. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. You know, somebody's probably going to make the claim that if I charge this battery and uh, plug it in and clean it up, it'll probably work again. And I am going to say that is probably not going to be true because it was sitting at the bottom of this pond when it was completely full for probably, I'm going to guess, around a year. And um, yeah had better days but the rubber handle and the plastic housing has held up really well that's kind of crazy good day Don is here with my new bucket great day actually he's gonna back it up and trust me to uh, go ahead and connect to it with the front of my John Deere sorry for the wind noise he just showed up and I didn't get a chance to get all my mics and everything ready but yeah so let me hop in the, the tractor mount the camera and get ready to hopefully hook up to a bucket. So here it is. After several attempts, I was able to uh, hook it in place. It's a little bit more difficult to uh, hook onto because it was at an angle on the bed of the truck. But this is a massive bucket. I mean, comparatively speaking, 36 inch wide, 12 inch wide. 36 inch wide, 12 inch wide. That is a huge bucket and it is insanely heavy. Even this bucket right here, is insanely heavy it's just it's ridiculous how much these weigh and this is a small excavator so this isn't like we're lifting you know something you would expect to you know have at the end of a, of a large excavator but that thing is just absolutely huge it's gonna be hard to capture it on camera but I, I guess for reference sake yeah this is a very large bucket for any application I would have. And this is probably the largest bucket you can put on this size of excavator feasibly because you're dealing with a lot of material, a lot of weight that this is gonna pick up. And uh, you certainly don't wanna overweight the front of it because you're not gonna be able to lift much material and it's gonna make it very tip easy or tip prone because it's gonna throw off that leverage. Very cool. But first thing I need to do with this is to scoop that up and move it. And I'll probably set that back here with my forks and my brush attachment for the tractor 
it's kind of where everything is ending up. Um, trees are a bit low, so I'll have to figure out what to do with that. But what is really cool about this is now the teeth on the thumb rest perfectly into these two grooves all the way shut. So I can really grab onto stuff now without worrying about it falling out. Because when I was using this, the teeth on the end of the thumb would make contact with the very end of the teeth on the bucket. And you essentially had to use this almost like a pair of tweezers if you wanted to pick anything up. You had to grab it just by the tip to be able to, uh, to get it off the ground. And then it was kind of hard to hold onto it. But now if I have something that I need to really grab, I can just grab it in here and crush it in place and lock it in. So that's very cool. Anyways, we are gonna go ahead and start the tractor up, lift this bucket up with that bucket and move this bucket over here or maybe even on this side, just out of the way. Well, that took a lot longer than I expected. Honestly, putting it like this, just putting it, you know, the three foot bucket behind it and tipping it over with the thumb, that's the best way to do this. But, uh, yeah, it's over there now. But the crazy thing is, is I find needs for both buckets. So I think I'm gonna be swapping them out quite a bit. Um, not inconveniencing, it's just one of those things that you gotta do, I guess. But this is really cool, huge bucket. Anyways, a uh, big shout out to the folks at Doggett, John Deere, and Corpus Christi for, uh, for bringing this to me you know uh, that's a really really cool thing he just delivered it to me we got it all connected a little scary a little sketchy at times a lot of trust involved but it turned out okay anyways guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon when we're going to be digging with that beast <laughs>